get your sip on. Get you, get you, get you, get you, get your sip on. Outfit of the day. Free K. My bag, it's overfloweth. You're like, oh my god, that's a right bargain. I'll have ten of them. That's only a tenner. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's a manager special. Cleaning like this, but now I mean business. You Hello, I've just sprayed one of my bookend things. Oh, brilliant. Then I ran out of spray, didn't I? So I've got one and a half done. Well, not even one. This is one. Not fully complete. Showing edge is done, so that's enough, isn't it? So who needs to look at the back bit anyway? Yeah, you see the front bit. So the front bit's done. And then like a smidgen of another one before my Poundland can ran out. Anyway, hello, how are you? Welcome to the vlog. Today I've been faffing, I have been scrubbing my oven components, like the tray bits that go in. Yeah, I have, yeah. I've been getting my cleaning on. I've been watching these Mrs. Hinch, I've been hinched cleaning videos, and I never thought I'd be the type to really get into a cleaning video, but I so am, and I might even do my own video. <sighs> yeah, really got into it. I was going about how my house is tiff and then I'm going to do a cleaning video. Well, that's exactly why I need to do it. I need to get into the routine. So, I've been doing bits and bobs like that. And, yeah, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, I know what I was going to do. I was going to talk you through, quickly, a few of my favourites of the month. Now, I usually do, like, a favourites video. But I decided that I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to whack it into a vlog. You know, whack in the old occasional favourites. So, on the cleaning theme... Let's start with favourite number one. Ah, yes. It's a cleaning product. Sif cream with micro crystals removes 100% of the toughest dirt. Actually does, this is the shit. This is the shit. It's not the shit, it's the shit. It's brilliant. I absolutely love this. I saw this on a cleaning video and I was like, oh, an old school Sif cream. Bought it. Brilliant. It actually scrubs off built-in grime. Like full-on grime. It's good stuff. I bought this, this one, this is my backup one. I've got my other one on the go. This is my backup one for two pounds. You know when like in cleaning videos, these cleanaholics have like a little pantry of cleaning stuff and they have like 10 of the same product lined up all nicely. And I was like, why do you really need to do that? I'm doing that with this, with my sif. I'm getting my sif on. Get your sif on, get your sif on. Get your, get your, get your, get your, get your sif on. What's that sif? Maybe you know. Honestly, it's really, really good. I don't have to sing at you, but it's good. So anyway, that's favourite number one. Favourite number two is up the stairs. Ian's about to come through the door. Let's do a surprise. <coughs> Shh. Surprise! I have a complaint. Do you have a complaint? I have a complaint from school. What? That you sent her with squash, not water. Oh, really? Yeah, and apparently her bottle leaked in her bag and you need to empty your bag out and spread everything out because it's soaking wet. Is that what they said? Just telling you. I, I got, I was the bad parent stood in the corner being told off by Miss Rose. Really? Yeah. I oh, know. I was wondering when I'd get told off for squash, but they haven't said it for weeks, so I thought it'd be all right. But wasn't the squash bottle in her bag then? I've got a zippy yeah, bag. Yeah, it, it was in here and it was to leak everywhere. I oh, know. This is you and you're not fitting lids properly. <gasps> Kim's got a really bad habit of not how tightening much, lids on she, anything. How much did she tell you off then? Was she angry? No, but it was clear telling off. I felt like I was back at school again. Oh, I'm so glad you picked her up today. Yeah, thanks. Stitch me up for what? Oh, I feel really bad now. I feel like I failed as a parent. Yeah, you failed. And I forgot a pee kit yesterday. This is tough, this school run stuff. I was going to show you my favourite, but now I was like deflated. Wish I had not done that now, I opened the door, they're all nice, like, hey vlog, by the way, you're a shit mum. How dare you give your kids squash? Huh? How dare you? Anyway, favourites. Favourite number two is Tresemme. Two-in-one deep cleansing shampoo and conditioner with multivitamins. They actually take multivitamin, you can have it through your hair. Saves you a job. I think it means for your hair. But it is actually deep cleansing. Now, if you have fine hair that attracts in every piece of dirt there is in the world in Greece, it really sucks it on, you're going to like this because it actually really cleans your hair but leaves it soft. Leaves it like it's been conditioned without you having to actually do the second step of conditioning. Really like it. 
what I like even more is that it's £2.50 for this massive tub. This is from Tesco. But I think Tresemme is always on offer somewhere, isn't it? Somewhere in the world. It's a good one. Tresemme 2-in-1 conditioner for deep cleansingness. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury collection that I bought, the Pillow Talk collection. Oh, look. See, this is how good I am at cleaning. It's got foundation on it. This is why I need to do a cleaning video coming to a channel near you soon. Not this one, but another one. I'm joking, this channel, I'm going to do it. So, this is the Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette. I think it might be a bit tricky to get hold of at the minute, you know, but it's worth trying. It's worth getting on the list because it is beautiful. It's shades that you actually wear. There's no black, there's no purple. It's just all like, not that, nudey, neutrally, peachy, brownie shades. Very, very nice. Highly recommended. And then I got the blusher to match. It's like a blusher highlighter duo. You can swirl a duo edge, pat in the middle to single highlight, round the outside for blush. I haven't got any more favourites to hand at the minute. I put my, oh no, hang on, I've got my crystal. I've got my big whopper, whopper crystal. It's a really nice quartz crystal. If you're into crystals, you're gonna be like, <gasps> if you're not even like, what's it? It looks nice. I hope my kids don't get hold of it. But yeah, it's really nice. I'm loving this crystal. It's so nice to hold and chant with. I'm just going through Effie's book bag, like Raphonic's book. Right. To be fair, I, if I was a teacher, I'd be well pissed off, wouldn't you? Be like, just, just put the fucking lid on properly, you know? I have to buy a new book. I can't send her in with that. I can't dry that off. There's only so much drying to do. Be all wrinkled and horrible. When well, you're just doing so well, fitting them in there on time, and you know, fully dressed and prepared, up and brushed and. You know, then you forget the pee kit and then you leak the water bottle. <sighs> Good job I've got the scones tonight. You know, I feel sorry for myself. <laughs> like that. It's my excuse anyway. Leaking bottle, devouring scones. You know, I see the correlation there. Yeah, and then she's got these books that have no words in. They're a tiny bit wrinkled as well. Yeah, my bad. They're not too bad though. These will dry out fine, but this book... Yeah, not so good. I've noticed as well the picture style is like watercolour style, which is well handy in this situation because look, you can hardly see it. It's not spilled juice, it's the watercolours, you know. Children will see the visualness of this, like, oh yeah, nice watercolour pictures. Right, that's on the shopping list. I'm going out tomorrow, so I'm compiling a little mental list. Probably not a wise idea, but I'll write it down, I'll forget. So what's on the list? Spray paint to spray my other bookendy things. I thought I'm being like, yeah, I'm being budget friendly, spraying my own bookendy things, and then I'm spending like 20 quid on paint. So I don't really get the logic of this upsizing, 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 upscaling, up doing, fannying about with stuff, trying to be cheap, and it's not really working. But I'm being good to the environment by not buying more stuff. I'm just spraying the shit out of the environment with an aerosol can. So yeah, I'm not really getting this whole thing of, yeah, I'm not spending loads of money, I'm not hurting the environment. Fact, I'm spending even more and spraying and hurting the environment even more. So yeah, I'm not doing well today. I've hurt the environment. I've let Effie down. Scones is the way forward. Think. I was going to do it anyway, but now I've got an excuse. I feel sorry for myself, so I'm going to eat scones now, tonight. Watching Bake Off. I'm not going to put you through the whole, I'm watching Bake Off thing again. I am a little bit. Here's a little mini clip. <laughs> school run thought I'd show you my outfit before we go I've got my big old roll neck on this is from H&M I've got my Topshop jeans on and then my TK Maxx boots the boots of dreams so I'm gonna do a school run head out to the shops and yeah get my shopping list done do you want to come all right let's go I'm just trying to get Luca out of the soft play <sighs> 
Luca? Time to go. Oh. H&M is just there. I can't get in because I'm stuck in soft play. Oh. I've got my coffee though. Oh yeah, the bonfire latte, whatever that is. Got bits of charcoal in it. Oh, I escaped. Yes. My mum has the child, I haven't just abandoned. I love this coat, it feels really nice and soft. Really kind of like a short hair fur. Yeah, I like it. This is actually a size four, it's way too small, but that's the only one I could find. But yeah, obviously not with this massive chunky jumper underneath, but you, you're feeling the vibes? I'm feeling it. I love this camel roll neck, really nice. But do I need another roll neck? Yeah, I do. No, I love it. Put the roll neck down, go to the pound shop. I'm not feeling very well. I'm in the pound shop. It's how much everything is. Is it a pound? No, it's not. The manager's special. It's five, ten million pounds. Ooh, ooh, I didn't realise Umberto Gianni was in here. What's this? Glam Care Volume Conditioner. Mmm, craft stuff. I need to top up my craft drawer. So what should I get? I quite like the look of these. Animal masks, might get some of them. What else have we got? I need some Play-Doh. Aha, there we go. As usual, there is a lot of Halloween stuff. Loads of it. Outfit of the day, 3K. Aha, I feel like this could come in handy. Couldn't it? For all those little bits and bobs. No words. So where's this minky cloth everyone's banging on about? I'm desperate for one now. Never wanted a minky cloth so much in my life. Oh, I've always wanted a ceramic owl. So much choice. Two pounds. Oh, I'm gutted. Sif cream's in here for a pound and I paid two pound in the co-op. Gutted. I'm gonna stock up. Sorry. it. Oh my giddy aunt. The size of that thing, two pounds. <gasps> That's the one. It's got micro crystals. I'm taking way too long faffing with my camera. I'm gonna put my camera away. So I'll sort it later and I'll show you what I bought. Yeah. So it's the next day. Yeah. I'm just quickly putting my slow cooker on and then I'm gonna show you my little mini pound animal. It's not mini actually, I spent 24 quid, so oh. that should in theory be 24 items, but it's not. They dupe you, didn't they? Those naughty pound land people. But I got my helper. You making dinner with me? Yeah. Yeah, good boy. So we've got the carrots, we've got the mushrooms, onion, garlic. Now... <laughs> yeah, I'm spreading your dinner. Yeah, we need to put the meat in. I'm oh, probably going to chuck in some peas. Any other veg I've got, I literally chuck it all in, put stock in, put a bit of seasoning in, yeah. leave it on all day. Jobs are good. And if you don't have one of these, if you don't have a slow cooker as a mum, you need one. Or just anyone. They're just brilliant. Leave it on all day and then when you're hungry, your dinner's ready. That's the only thing. You can hear it. You can hear it. Uh, you can smell it all day and you're like, oh, hey. yeah, bro, I want my dinner and you end up having your dinner at like three. Oh, no, yeah, but at least you've had your dinner, you know, it's done. Yeah, I like onion. You like onion? Yeah. Do you? Put it some, some No, that's a, man that's a manky bit of onion. No, don't eat that. Ow. I'm putting my stock in now. Mixy, mixy. I just don't one, mummy. Boom. Big chunk of stock just went in. No. Oh. Get rid of that. A yes. bit like that. Highlight on fleek. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Highlight on fleek for a day of mumming at home. Wow. There we go. Done. One word of advice. Don't forget to turn it on because uh, there's nothing worse than coming home and you're getting excited all day. And you come home and yeah, you have steak tartare instead of a nice warm casserole. Yeah. Learnt through experience, just turn the sudden thing on. Ooh, the excitement's building up, gonna show you what I got from the pound shop. <laughs> so I've managed to escape. This is like my usual setup for doing sit down films. If you're new, hi, this is what I normally do. Although I just thought I'd whack it in on the vlog this time. So I'm gonna show you what I bought in Poundland. 
Ian is downstairs with Luke, he's not just running around freely. He's on his lunch break and I was like, why are you having your sandwich? Could you just, uh, you know, look after Luca while I fill my Poundland haul? He's like, oh, he did the eye roll, but hey, I'm here. I even lit a candle, I put lipstick on. In fact, I have mentioned favourites in this video earlier. And I mentioned this favourite, this lipstick, I've been wearing this a lot. And it's the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet in number 47. Now I know, I've, I'm talking about a Chanel lipstick and then I'm going to talk about Poundland. That's just how I roll. That's how I roll. I love a bargain and I love an expensive lipstick. That's just how I roll. Let's have a quick look-see. There we go. Oh, there. Lush colour. But we're not here for that. We're here for Poundland stuff. Way. That's my bag. There we go. It's overfloweth. It was a 10p bag and I was like, I only want one, I don't want two, that's 20p. That's like one fifth of an item I could buy in this shop. So ugh, I'm going to cram it into one and struggle all the way home, which is what I did. I'm going to start with an exciting item. I saw it and I was like, yes, this is going to go with my cleaning video that's coming up soon. It's a duster. Not only is it a duster, it's pink. Not only is it a pink duster, it's telescopic. Yes, I can finally reach all those places that I couldn't reach before at the high. It's just amazing. It's pink. It's, yeah. I just feel like a proper, like, cleaner. Cleaning like this, but now I mean business. So I was really chuffed when I found this. This is like a Mrs. Hinch type item, isn't it? I bet she's got one. I bet she's got all colours. We're going to do the whole naming thing. I don't know. She looks a bit like a sea creature, doesn't it? Like an urchin. Yeah. You call it Ernie? Ernie the Urchin. I don't know. Is that what you do? Do I write his name on it or what? Next is this little organising box. It's meant to be like a sewing box, but I have actually started making jewellery again. You say again? I didn't even know you did that. Yeah, I did like years and years ago. But I've rediscovered all my beads and things, so watch out for a bracelet coming to an Etsy store near you. Oh, yes. But this can organise all of my little bits and bobs. So there's one side there. That's one side. That's the other. Like that. Hello! Next up. Ooh, I got tissue paper with this one. It's a pink candle holder. It's glass. Bit on a dangerous side. I'm going to have to keep it up high. This is going to go in my living room to go with my grey and pink theme. It's got like a pattern on the outside and bobbly bits on the bottom. Bobbly bottom. It's like Christmas, this. Like my stocking. Calendar, an academic calendar. Because, you know, with Effie starting school, so many things to remember. And I'm struggling, so I need to write it down. This piece here, I think, is like a wipey off bit. And then this is paper. Notes for the month go there. Then you can rub it out. And then, yeah, it's a calendar. So it's all the days of the month you know you know how a calendar works what are them oh yes i keep on forgetting to tell you the price you would assume that everything is a pound wouldn't you with it being pound land that's not the case is it you go in you see the amazing bargain as you're walking in you're like oh my god that's a quid i'm having one of them and then the tiny print is like but this is a manager's special and it's actually 20 quid and you're like Every time, it gets me every time. You're like, oh my God, that's a right bargain. I'll have 10 of them, that's only a tenner. No, 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 <laughs> no, it's a manager's special. Unless I see it otherwise, everything's a pound, okay? So last few things were a pound. Play-Doh, four pots of standard. There's no order to this, as you can see, I'm just plucking and talking. Mini dippers, they're little chocolate mini dippers. Let's see how big they are, actually, that's why. I bought it because I thought, oh yeah, they're mini, that's good then. Oh yeah, that's, see, that's like a nice little snack, isn't it? That's just the right amount for little ones. So yeah, I'm happy with that. There's not like a massive tub of chocolate, it's just a tiny bit. So that's a good snack size. Next up, note paper to go on my desk. <gasps> it's not just standard, it's got shiny bits. Oh, only on, oh, that's a bit naff, isn't it? It's only on three sides. That's what you get at Poundland. You're like, oh, this could be a two pound item. No, it's a one pound item. Maybe they're all like that. That's annoying. I'll have to have that one at the back then and have that at the front. One, two, three. Three pots of silver spray paint. When Ian sees these, he's gonna be like, oh shit, what's she doing now? I'm still spraying my bookend things. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, head over to my last vlog and you'll see that I DIY'd up my life. 
didn't really, I just bought something and sprayed it a bit and then I ran out. So I needed more. So I bought three tins of this stuff. It doesn't go far. If you're going to spray something silver, stop up, okay? False economy, because I've got to buy three in the end and then I might as well have got a big one from somewhere else, but in my mind it was cheap, you know? On to the kids. Let's, yeah, let's mix this situation up. Slippers. Slippers. <laughs> Slippers. Luca, Effie, two pounds. These were two pounds, but I'm quite pleased with these. I think they're quite nice. The sizing is a bit dodgy because their actual size, which is like an eight, nine, was tiny. And these are a 10 and 11. There's the pink and the blue. Yeah, I think they're all right for around the house. I mean, why, you wouldn't wear them out, would you? The slippers off around the house, but you get what I'm saying. Two heart candle holder things. Now, we've started using incense cones, and I thought, well, basically, I used a wooden one, right, last time that we did it, and it singed. I mean, logic wasn't there that day, and I singed my wooden thing. So, I've gone and got myself, a, I'm opening as I speak, marble one, a real marble heart. I don't know what it is, but it's hard and it won't singe. So, yes, or I could use it for a candle, like so. Next up, glue dots. This is for crafty bits and bobs. It's a bit of a faff, like peeling them off and sticking them because you get them all over your fingers. But if you use the back of the paper to stick it on things and then stick things onto the sticky thing, then it's fine. Pound. On the crafty theme, I've got some face masks. Colour your own animal mask. All different animals. So, to get crafty with the kids. Bottle brush, because the kids' bottles, I can't wedge in my... That's when you fill it up with uh, washing up liquid. And you're like, oh yes, it's cool, it's all loaded. But then you can't get it in the sudden bottle. That's why I got this, because it squeezes, I think. When you ram it in, it closes down getting really technical it's a it's a bottle brush so and it's not like baby bottles it's squash bottle stuff next is this container it's a bacon holder bacon and fish holder to be precise so you can only put bacon and fish in there what i actually thought was i had a vision have my biscuits lined up nicely so when you open it they're all like standing to attention like come and eat me now you know I just had a biscuit vibe when i saw this it's not the bacon Bacon can. I want my biscuits in here. It's so big that I have to. Ah, da, da, da. It's Sif, y'all. It's a massive Sif. Sif. So, I bought a two pound bottle the other day from the co op, which was like half the size. Then I saw this one for two quid. I was like, oh yeah, massive, mega, I'm going to have this. But then I realised that they had the smaller ones for a pound. So I don't know whether the smaller one. If I should have just bought two of them rather than this one, I need to work out the millage. The millage on this one is 750 mil. So if the other one's 500 mil, I'll be gutted. Found one, I've done it again. But anyway, this stuff, love it. It's great. I'm going to clean after this. Next up, yogurt raisins. These can be quite expensive from like the likes of, I don't know, say Sainsbury's, like three quid, two pounds 75, I don't know. This was a pound. However, it's a five pack and it does say a mini pack. I had a, I had a sneaky look at one to see how small they were. I didn't open the pack. I didn't. It was already open, okay? I just I just kind of teased it a tiny bit to have a look to see how big the pack was. And, well, it's like, I mean, this is all right. It's not, I mean, it's small, but it's enough for a snack. All right, this is for Effie. This is two pounds, okay? Two pounds. This was two pounds. I think it was quite a good price. The blanket. But it's got a head on it, a hood. So you put that on like that. I have to demonstrate because obviously you just wouldn't know what to do, would you? Unless I demonstrated. You wrap it round. There's little hand bits there. Like that. Do you want to build a snowman? Next one. I'm going to stay like this. Iron Man. So it's like good characters. It's not like take off like steel man or anything it's it is iron man and actually said on the packet it's not olana it's olaf you know so yeah for two pounds a good stocking filler i think and i'm thinking ahead it bulks out the stocking anyway doesn't it yeah good idea right so that's everything i'm gonna take this you actually find this interesting me talking about my poundland stuff 
I don't know. I personally like to have a nosy of what people buy. So yeah, let me know if you like it because I'll do more of it. You do. You know, I don't need much encouragement. If you say like once, oh, that was all right. But that was all right. That was. I'm going to do it again. So. If you liked it, let me know. Thumbs up, share, subscribe, and all that. I'm signing off now. Could you tell? Because I'm building up to my bye. Thumbs up, kind of ending. So that's the vlog for this week. And I think that's all I have to say right now. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Love it. Share, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.